welcome you to the Yogano Art Family. Thanks for tuning in. And so today we're gonna, I'll be sharing a story with you guys regarding how I got into comics. And so when I was a young lad, I didn't have many toys or so. So I would, uh, and so when I was a young lad, I got inspired by shows such as, you know, DBZ, Pokemon, or Dragon Ball Z, which is fairly popular in the, uh, and you know, if you're like a 90s kid, you'll understand what who those shows are or what those shows are so basically those shows are what inspired me at a young age to actually start to you know dive into uh comics however back then i didn't know that you know comics or animation you could actually do that for a living and so when i was around six or you know seven or so that's when uh i was driven by passion so i started just uh drawing doodle on the book regarding you know my own original characters and it, and it also wasn't just uh drawing on a notebook as a kid i would also reenact uh certain uh, television shows that i'd see and play it out you know when i was playing with toys and whatnot and the toys I had back then weren't exactly toys. What I did was, since I didn't really have much of my own toys, I, uh, I constructed uh, my own toys through uh, aluminum foil and uh, the, the bread twist ties. And due to me uh, playing with those items, I would usually have a lot of uh, cuts on my hand because of the, uh, you know, the aluminum foil metal or the uh, the bread twist ties it would eventually you know wither away into becoming like a, some kind of thin piece of metallic uh, string which would, which would also poke into my hand and whatnot so I'd, i had a lot of uh you know hand cuts when i was young but, you know nothing too major i wasn't bleeding it was just little minor skin cuts and even when i was uh eventually given real toys I didn't uh, play with them much. What I found much more entertaining was uh, the aluminum foil, because you could create your own, uh, you could create your own toy, which was a, you know an interesting concept to me. And so back to the aluminum foil days, that's when I invented my first character that you see now in my uh, comic series, uh, Oska. The, the character that I made, the, the main character of Oska is Kaz, and so Kaz was invented way back when I was like a good uh, six or seven years old through you know aluminum foil and whatnot which eventually transitioned into like drawing on the notebook pads or the composition book and so back then though uh, cause cause's name wasn't cause so his first name was actually blaze which eventually transitioned into being cause spelt with a Z at the end because it looked cool to me and then after that it transitioned into being sp as in you know hero spelled with a with a e and then it transitioned into being called hero because i didn't want to have the e in it so it was spelled with h i r r o and then after that i just transitioned it into being called back to cause but this time is going to be spelled with an s instead of the z and plus cause fits the theme of the comic uh cause cosmo the comic is dealing with you know celestial entities and and whatnot and another interesting fact is that way back when when i was a when i was a kid or so i didn't have access to internet until the uh the ninth grade so that was around 2009 is when i got access to the internet and so back then i was just mostly in my head just creating and so to fast forward into uh, seventh or eighth grade, that's when I came t to realizing that, you know, you can do animation and doing comics for a living. So that's when I actually started, you know, making my own, you know, not legit comic, but you know, it was, it didn't look as professional, 
but it was still a comic. It didn't have any panels, so you'll get an idea as to what the comic looked like. So the comic didn't have any panels. So, and it was done in a composition book. And I also made uh, several other comics, which were, you know, explicit. And so onward to ninth grade or around high school. So around like eighth grade is when I thought of the idea of my uh, comic, the comic Oska. Pri previously it was called King Hero, but now it's changed into uh, Oska. And so like ninth grade, that's when I started to really dive into it. And around high school or so, that's when I was inspiring to become an animator. And someone who's looking to have their comic series animated eventually. And so, so yeah, that's why I wanted to like really dive into uh, animation. And so when that time came, like uh, during, you know, the college process where we had to look for our colleges and, and whatnot, and many art schools and so and so, uh, I couldn't really uh, have access to uh, actually going into an animation school around the area where I live because a lot of the, the schools where I lived, a lot of the art schools are like really hella expensive. And so, and also there was one uh, school for animation, however it was like really, really far away. And I really had no experience in traveling or anything like that. So I didn't have experience in, you know, taking the train or bus or anything like that. So it was really uh, overwhelming. This is why I went to a, uh, a community college. And that's when I uh, started to learn to draw. That's when I started to learn more about, uh, you know, the animation industry and, uh, and drawing and, and whatnot. And so as I started to, you know, learn about that, I, I like I know that, you know, some of these like really top notch animations that's produced by an, an animation company that's it's built with a, a team and whatnot, you know, and although that's all good and all, I just wanted to be able to uh, get my idea for Oscar acro across. So rather I went into animation or whatever it didn't really matter to me and so the closest thing since i wasn't studying animation the closest thing to me was uh just drawing teaching my myself how to draw because the schools weren't really teaching that to me and so i took it upon myself to to teach myself how to draw put my vision down on uh to the comic world and you know eventually eventually perhaps see it as an animation one day and so this is the cut down story as to how I got into comics. And that will be the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to join the family. And that will be all. Peace out.